I do want to comment on one thing I did see uh, that Tom Tom mentioned uh, in uh, somebody sent me a script in a round table look like with some other teammates of his. He was talking about the difficulty in defenses playing and uh, referring to throws over the middle and uh, throws in the tight windows. And the difference when he first got in the league, and I'm going to put myself just a few years behind him when I first got in the league as well, the way that the game was played is much different um, than it is today with uh, crossing routes not being as big of a thing. Uh, kind, of, kind of coming out of the West Coast offense in the 80s and 90s, the uh, adjustment to that was having your linebackers, you know, just hit the shit out of those crossers. Kill them. Yeah, to, to avoid from feeling so comfortable running over the middle. And also, and you've seen that, that's out of the game now. Um, and also, balls down the middle, you just didn't throw a lot of throws down the middle against single high safety, even against, uh, you know, too high, unless you you could throw them on a line because uh, you didn't want to lay your guy out to dry. And there was headhunter safeties in the league who were going to make you pay if you left your, if you had your guy extended over the middle, his hands up or something. Hospital ball. Totally, totally. And I do agree with Tom in that I do think it dumbs down the play a little bit because there's not accountability for bad throws like it used to be. Um, so I, I thought that was really interesting. Is, it, that, it, it is that something to, you think about? Is that something you think about, by the way, when you're throwing somebody down the middle now? Because with the emergence of these rules, the tight ends have grown. Like the tight end game has gotten massive now. And big Bob Tunyon, obviously, big dog also there. Is that something you know, like you had to change your mind? Like, oh, I can let this one fly a little bit down the middle because if not, it's maybe an added 15. They can't really. Was that a change that you had to make in your mindset in the game? I don't know if I'm even there yet. I really don't. Uh, you know, my I think it's quarterback, and I, I bet Tom would, would probably agree with this statement, but you, my greatest fear forever was laying one of your teammates out. Like the last thing you want to do is, is lead a guy into a big hit that causes him to, you know, get concussed or, God forbid, you know, not being able to get off the field on his own power. That's your greatest fear because that guy is trusting you with his – health really as much as i'm trusting takatari and my linemen to protect me those guys are trusting me to protect them with a throw and that's why the west coast offense has always been predicated on proper number and and location for the football and that's the way i, I learned and it was to avoid it was to allow for yards after the catch and then to you know throw the ball away from contact for your for your stud player so that was the greatest fear of mine now not you don't think like Oh, I can throw whatever the hell ball I want down the middle now because, you know, if the guy gets rocked, it's going to be an extra 15. Um, I do think it takes, uh, you know, some of the, uh, you know, it, it takes some, obviously some of the contact out of the sport and some of the, uh, you know, uh, consequences for, for poor decision making um, off the quarterback and, and onto the defensive player, which I think is, is very difficult to now to play defense at certain positions and certain parts of the game. But you'll take advantage of it if you have to because that's a fucking game. Hate to break to you. Sorry about it. But I do like the fact that you came out in defense of him because a lot of people were saying, oh, here's Tom Bitch and here's Tom Bitch. And it's like, no, I think this is a real thing. And anytime. All, let me, let me do, he's not bitching. He's not bitching. He's actually talking about how, you know, he, he thinks it. it uh, the product is is less than it was, and I, you know, I, I would have to agree with that. Um, you know, if you're allowed to just throw some shitty passes down the middle because your guy's not going to get rocked, and you're not going to put your guy in a in a, in a stretcher, uh, I think that dumbs down the product a little bit. You know, and I do think it is hard to play defense. You watch certain guys, and I tell, you know, I, I've told guys before, and I think defensive guys would back me up when the conversations we've had on the field. I'm not begging for, you know, yeah. roughing the pass. Well, so I might get pissed about what seems to be a, a you know legal contact, a holding, a pass interference, but I'm not I'm not bitching about uh, you know about roughing the passer calls. I don't get a lot of them, and I'm not asking for them. You know, I'm not asking for rules to be made for me or anything. You know, I'm, I'm I'm asking to be treated as a football player. If a guy drills me in the head, that should be a penalty. Yeah, and but, I and I think the NFL, by the way. I think they, and we talked about this earlier, the fact that you can play another eight to 10 years, no problem, by the way. I think the NFL takes a victory lap on that because now Tom's able to play, you're able to play a lot longer because that's what they were making the rules because we needed to have our big guys playing. So I think there's a happy balance there, but I appreciate the fact that you and Tom, the two, hey, here, here it is, by the way, and we're living in the middle of it right now and we are for the foreseeable future. Anytime you two speak, I think it's great. I think it's better for the game, so I appreciate you both there.